Yo, what's up everybody? We got another banging episode for you. Today we're actually in Salinas, California. We're at El Torito. They were established in 1981. They have handcrafted flour tortillas, some of the best bowls, like similar to Chipotle, but like authentic. They got burritos. I mean, it's just phenomenal food here. So stay tuned. We're gonna head in there and check it out. Uh, yes, please. That one was Verde, right? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Oh, uh, Salsa Roja? Yes, please. It's raining a lot, fam, but we're still getting this review in for y'all. This is a good one. All right, y'all, we're gonna do this in the car. Don't mind all the stuff in the back. I just left my storage unit, so I had to pack some things. And we got Maverick in the back. What's up, Maverick? All right, so we got our burritos here. I don't know which one is which. Is it marked? I'm just gonna go in. Hmm. These are incredible. The flour tortilla is made in house. It's it's just so fluffy. The carnitas is a little crunchy. The house made crema or sour cream. Everything's really, really good. This place is just absolutely phenomenal. Damn, so we still got the, we got the verde and then the asada as well to try. But was carnitas, fire, nine out of 10. This place is nine out of 10, like have to try it. Honestly, I, I could even almost go 10 on this place. You don't get better burritos than this. And they're perfect size. So you can order like a couple different ones, you know? You don't have to just get one. You don't just order a Sada or something like your typical large burritos. You can literally just order like a few, two to three, and try all the different meats and stuff. Um, they have like four to six different types of salsa. I like the Roja. Yeah. All right guys, up next we got the Chile Verde. Now, when you order the verde burrito, normally you would add a salsa to your burrito, but for this one, you should just stick with the verde that it comes with, like, that's marinated. Um, if you get an extra sauce, it's gonna be like really saucy and kind of overpowering, so I definitely stick to one sauce on the verde. And then another fun fact about El Torito, so they started off in 1981 and they were actually just a like convenience store and they actually they sold some burritos you know they had like a little burrito area but the burritos became so popular here that they converted the entire store into strictly burritos and they recently remodeled 
Um, this place always has a line out the door. It is nine out of 10, close to 10 out of 10. Um, definitely check it out. All right, let's get into this one. This is the Verde. Mm. I love these. It's got a little kick too. Like the Verde here actually has a little spice to it. So it's really good. Mm, 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 mm. Bank of America Steakhouse. All right, to wrap up El Torito, we got to hit the scale. Solid 9 out of 10. I almost want to go 10 out of 10, but I feel like we're not quite there yet. And I want to save it for just that out of the park crazy experience. Uh, maybe for like a restaurant, but um, for a walk up, the highest score you can get, I feel like, is like a 9 out of 10. So, because there's no seating there. Um, but yeah, man, the carnitas was crispy, flavorful. The verde is amazing. Torito. Alfredo's bomb. I got pastor and chili verde. How would you rate it on a scale of mm, one to 10? I'd say eight out of 10. Eight out of 10? All mm. right. There you have it, folks. I'm going nine out of 10. Patrick's eight out of 10. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at the next episode. Peace.